In this video, we're going to talk about how to make money dropshipping. It's not only enough to know what the dropshipping business model is and all kinds of different ways to implement it, but the main reason that we're all here for is to know how to actually make money doing this, how to actually turn this into a profit by buying low and selling high successfully. That's exactly what we're going to uncover in this video. So quick intro and let's go. What's up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Liran from AutoDS. I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how you can actually make money from dropshipping. Right before we begin, I wanna remind you guys if you're new to our YouTube channel, this is the kind of content that we deliver. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and always stay up to date on all of the latest and all of the hottest and most trending topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping. Having said that, like this video if you appreciate the value and let's begin to learn how we can actually make money from dropshipping. So let's take it from the start. For those who don't know, what is the dropshipping business model? Dropshipping is an online fulfillment method that allows you to run and manage your own online store, selling all kinds of products without actually holding them in stock. Then when someone buys that product, you simply buy it from your supplier and ship it to the end customer. This photo right here in front of me shows really well how the dropshipping business model works. So let's take a look. The first step is you have your online store. So it's some virtual store somewhere out there on the internet. People see that online store and they enter it. Let's say he buys a product from your store and pays you the retail price of $150. The second step is you as the seller, as the store owner, you will go to your supplier's website, whichever supplier you used, and we will get to all of that later. You purchase the product from your supplier and you ship it to the end customer. Now in this case, let's say for example that the product cost you $100. So the customer paid you $150 and you paid your supplier $100. Step three, the supplier ships the product to the end customer, the customer receives his product, he's happy, your supplier is happy, and you are happy because you made that profit in the middle. In this case, you made a profit of $50 because you got $150 from the customer, you paid your supplier $100 to purchase that product, so your profit is what's between $100 and $150 in this case, that's $50 profit in your pocket. That is basically how the dropshipping business model works. It's been working for years, it's not going anywhere, Every year, this whole dropshipping industry is increasing more and more in revenue and in profits. So I highly recommend to join this business model if it is something that's interesting for you. And this is exactly how you can actually make money from doing it. So now that we have a basic understanding of how the dropshipping business model works, now at this point, you're probably thinking, all right, we get it, buy low, sell high. Dropshipping means we don't have to hold inventory, but how can we actually make money from this? Well, here is what you need to know when you're starting off. First, you need to understand which selling channel you want to sell on. You know that you have to sell products and we're not talking about which products yet. First, we need to decide where we want to sell. The selling channel is that place where we are actually going to have our stores on. For example, we can sell on eBay, we can sell on Shopify, we can sell on the Facebook marketplace, we can also sell on Amazon, on Wix, and so many other selling channels. So the selling channel is the actual place where your store is going to be on. Now, each marketplace has its advantages and its disadvantages. For example, we have eBay, one of the biggest platforms for dropshippers today and online sellers alike. And on eBay, you get so much free organic traffic. If your product is interesting, if you're if you're listing something that people actually want to buy, they will get to your listing organically. You don't have to spend any money to bring traffic to your website. On the other hand, eBay starts with very low selling limits. If you're starting a new seller account, you'll only be able to list up to 10 items or $500 per month in listings and in sales combined. And then you'll have to slowly work your way up. On Shopify, on the other hand, you don't have any starting seller limits. So as soon as you start, no starting seller limits. You can simply list as many products as you want. You can even list 10,000 products on the first day when your Shopify store is active. But there's a lot more work when it comes to Shopify. We need to customize our whole store and build it from the first page up. On Shopify, you'll also be running your own domain name. So www.yourshopname.com. But on the other hand, you have to pay traffic sources to bring traffic to your website because it's really hard to get organic traffic when you're running a Shopify store, especially when you are just starting out. You need to build an email list. This way you'll be able to do it organically. So you need customers to fill in their email addresses and then you can use their email addresses to send emails to once you have a few hundred emails at least. 
But before that, you're simply going to have to pay all kinds of traffic sources to bring traffic to your website through, for example, Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, and so forth. So in order to start making money on Shopify, we need to first spend some money in order to be able to make some money. Then we've got places like the Facebook marketplace, which is new, and it is a completely untapped marketplace as of today. And I'm already seeing how much profit dropshippers are making on the Facebook marketplace. Now it's really easy to begin because you don't need anything besides your Facebook account and a US IP address so that you will have the shipping options. Then all you need to do is simply list products to sell on the Facebook marketplace. It's that simple. You don't have any limits and you don't have to pay Facebook any monthly subscription like you do on eBay and Shopify in order to run a Facebook marketplace store. Now, on the other hand, Facebook only takes a 5% transaction fee and that is only after you make a sale. So you don't have any expenses when you want to start dropshipping on the Facebook marketplace right away and you don't have to pay any traffic sources to bring traffic to your website. So its advantages are eBay's and Shopify's disadvantages and with this information you can really put all three of these marketplaces on a scale and try to understand where you would like to start selling first. Now just because you choose a selling channel doesn't mean that that's the one that you have to go with the whole way. When you start to expand later on when you start making profit or if you want to test out more marketplaces this will be a good time to add additional marketplaces and start seeing how that goes for you but start with one and slowly work your way up all right so we understand the basics of the dropshipping business model and we understand that there are a few selling channels that we can actually sell on so now the next question is once we choose where we want to sell how do we know how to actually get started what are the first steps that we need to take and what products we need to sell so that people will actually buy them and we will actually make some profit here. The first thing that you need to do is start enriching your knowledge on the selling channel that you want to sell on. For example, if you decided that you want to drop ship on the Facebook marketplace, if this is the selling channel that you want to start with, then what I would recommend to do is to check out our how to dropship on the Facebook marketplace, a full step-by-step -step guide. We have an article and we also have a video on this. These are full A to Z guides on how to get started how to find the right products to sell, how to import them successfully to your stores, and how to analyze and scale, scale, scale once you start seeing success. So of course, I'm going to leave a link to everything that I'm talking about right below this video, to the blog article, and also to this video. So once again, if you wanna start dropshipping on the Facebook marketplace, this is the place to be, and these are the articles and the videos that you want to read before you get started so that you will understand every step of the way, what you need to do, and how you can actually start profiting from these marketplaces. So this is Facebook, for example, if you want to drop ship on Shopify, we have a full Shopify A to Z course, and I'll be more than happy to go over each step of the way in this video, but it will make it that much longer. But of course, I'm leaving a link to it right below this video. As you see here in front of me, there are about 40 lessons in the Shopify course from day one when you register your account, all the way until audience research, product research, building up your domain, your home page, your product pages, optimization, importing products, making all the connections and synchronizations, checkout settings, shipping zones, and so much more. We're also talking about Facebook ads. So if you want to learn how you can run your own Facebook ads for your drop shipping stores, for your products that you're trying to sell or anything else, you have a full guide in this course. And by the way, guys, did I mention that it's completely free, 100% no strings attached just go into the link that i'll leave to be right below this video and start watching the free course so if you want to start drop shipping on shopify or if you're wondering if shopify is your selling channel watch this course and then you will have your answer now if you want to make money drop shipping on ebay then we also have a lot of content that's already ready for you on our blog page and even more we also have an ebooks page as you see right here here we have an ebook called The Beginner's Guide to Dropshipping on eBay. So what I'm going to do is simply click on that. And once again, do not worry, all the links right below this video. So here I'm going to click on Unlock Your Ebook, The Beginner's Guide to Dropshipping on eBay. I'm going to leave my name and my email address to get my 100% free copy. Get your free ebook. And now it's loading up. And here it is. We got here about 172 pages of 100% pure value and content. As you see right here, we start with what is dropshipping to eBay, how to open your account and your store, how to find the best products to sell on eBay, how to list your first product manually, automatically, how to set all of your settings, your pricing settings, your shipping and policies, and how to fulfill your orders, handle customer service, and so much more. That's just a table of contents. And as I scroll down, 
you can pretty much get a nice example of the amount of amazing content that we have ready for you guys. And once again, guys, all of this content is 100% free. So what you want to do is start learning when you are learning and it doesn't cost you any money. See it as something as kind of a test to see if it's even interesting for you at all. I mean, if you didn't have to spend any money, then you don't owe anyone anything. Go ahead and start learning and see if this is right for you. This will definitely give you the right feeling and the right understanding of what selling channel you want to sell on. So we talked about eBay, Shopify, and Facebook. And if you need even more than that, we even have a mentorship program for eBay, where you have a one-on-one -on -one mentor to help you with everything that you need from day one, from the first day that you want to start. So if you want to learn how to make money dropshipping, you need to learn the right way. You need to learn from people with experience, people who have done it and people who are still doing it to this day. You don't want to learn from someone who did it five years ago and since then stopped dropshipping. So today they only have knowledge that was only relevant a few years back. What you want to do is learn from people who have actual experience, people who are actually doing it. And this is a great place to learn how to make money dropshipping. Once again, in order to learn how to make money, you need to learn from the right examples. You need to learn from the right people. So once you're getting knowledge that's for free, that's the first thing that you need to go ahead and take in. Now, don't forget there's so much content out there. And if you search for dropshipping on YouTube, you're going to be bombarded with so many videos that you'll get lost and you won't know what to do. This is why you need to have a clean structure in your mind to know exactly every step that you need to take in order to start and run a successful dropshipping business and learn how to actually make money from dropshipping. So step one is understanding the basics of the dropshipping business model. We already went through that. Step two is understanding what selling channels you have. Dropshipping does not start and end on eBay. Dropshipping does also not start and end on Shopify, even though you have tens of thousands of dropshippers on each platform. So once you understand the right selling channel, where you want to sell on, then you move on to the next step, which is creating your account on your selling platform. So use any of the articles or any of the videos that I showed you to learn how to do that. Once you started up your seller account, what you want to do is start learning for the right products to sell. This is the product research phase. And this is one of the most important parts of starting your dropshipping business. You need to know what products to sell on which marketplace. So some product that sells on eBay is not going to be the same product that will sell well on Shopify. And what sells well on Shopify may not sell well on the Facebook marketplace. Now, in order to learn what are the right products to sell on the right marketplace, first of all, use the videos and tutorials and articles that I showed you that I will leave the link to them right below this video. And of course, go to the selling channel that you want to learn about. And there you'll have all of the product research information there. But in general, I want you guys to understand this product research. This is one of the most important things. This is one of the most important aspects of your dropshipping business. And this is where you want to spend the most amount of time. This doesn't mean that the other things are not important. But if you don't nail down the product research stage, this phase of creating your e-commerce business, you won't be getting any sales and then it doesn't matter how nice your store looks, how much hard work you put into it. None of that will matter if you didn't know the product research phase successfully. So think about it. You've got the right products on your store, but you didn't, your store doesn't look so good. I mean, you can still decorate it much, much better. Your store is still going to sell. You're still going to make some great profit. So this is why product research is one of the most important parts. This is what we're here to do. We're here to make sales and profit. It will not come without the right amount of product research. So. Each selling channel has its own way of conducting product research. For example, the easiest marketplace to start with today is the Facebook marketplace. It's not saturated at all. You don't have a lot of dropshippers there and there is so much free organic traffic. You can also post to groups, but Facebook is giving you so much free organic traffic that it'll literally make your head spin. This is why on the Facebook marketplace, for example, all you need to do is go to your suppliers page. For example, let me take you to this link right here autods.com slash suppliers. Here you have about 25 suppliers that AutoDS supports today. This means that you can go to any one of these suppliers websites in any one of these regions that you see up here, find products to sell, find products that are trending on those marketplaces and simply list them on the Facebook marketplace. If you don't know what I mean when I say list them, then watch the tutorial videos that I talked about right below this video. But once you list them on the Facebook marketplace and they are good sellers on other marketplaces, they will most likely start to sell also on the Facebook marketplace. This is one of my favorite selling channels to sell on today. 
but that doesn't mean that it starts and ends there. Dropshippers are making substantial amount of profits on eBay, Shopify, Amazon, Wix, and other selling channels too. So one of the best ways to conduct product research on the Facebook marketplace is by simply seeing what's selling well on other platforms, on other suppliers, and simply listing them on the Facebook marketplace. It's really that easy. So once you start doing it, you'll see exactly what I mean. Watch the tutorials that I talked about. That is how to make money dropshipping on the Facebook marketplace. Now, if you want to know how to do the right amount of product research on Shopify, the difficulty level there is a little bit higher. So if you have no experience in dropshipping whatsoever, you can start on Shopify. But like I said, you need to have a budget to start with. So if you have a budget, a few hundred bucks, three, four, five hundred dollars to start with so that you can spend it on ad testing and on other things like some Shopify apps that you do want to have and Shopify's store subscription, and of course the right amount of time to study and to research products and to launch your ads and everything else, then Shopify is an amazing place to dropship on. You've got no limits. You can scale it to the moon from day one. If you don't have any experience in dropshipping, maybe you should start on other platforms like eBay and the Facebook marketplace. That doesn't mean that you will not have luck dropshipping on Shopify. It's just a much more challenging selling channel to start on. Now, to make money on Shopify dropshipping, of course, buy low, sell high. But what products do you want to sell? Well, I definitely recommend to check out this course and get to define the best dropshipping products to sell category. Here you have the six criteria of choosing a good product to sell, how to spy on successful Shopify dropshipping stores. So you're going to learn about a secret tool there that you can use, and it's absolutely free to be able to spy on other Shopify stores, see what they're doing, and copy their business practices implemented on your own store. How to pick the best dropshipping suppliers for Shopify, the secret methods to finding the best dropshipping products on Shopify, to sell on Shopify, and how to narrow down your winning products to really cherry pick the best of them, to really increase the chances of selling that product and being able to scale successfully. So that information is on the Shopify course. I will once again, gladly share it on this video, but I cannot make it that long, but I do want to give you guys all of the secrets that you need to know in order to really make money dropshipping and not to just go out randomly, create accounts, start uploading products, wonder why it's not selling, wonder why it's working for other dropshippers and not for you. So follow these steps. For Shopify dropshipping, this is how to make money dropshipping on Shopify. Now we talked about Facebook Marketplace, we talked about Shopify. How can we make money dropshipping on eBay? So as I mentioned, you've got this ebook, 172 pages. We also have the mentorship course. This is definitely going to help you guys once you have a one-on-one -on -one mentor to help you with anything that you need. And if you do not want to get the mentorship, and you do not have time to read 172 pages. I completely understand that, but you do need to also understand that if you want to learn how to start and how to run a business successfully, it's not going to come from watching one or two videos or just reading one or two articles. No businesses can start and run successfully this way. You need to bombard yourself with the most amount of knowledge that you can, as much as your brain can handle, at least for a couple of weeks of only learning day to day, taking notes, understanding what you are learning, and if you don't understand something, then of course, feel free to ask your questions right below this video and I will personally answer them. So to be able to dropship successfully on eBay, there are there is more than one method to conduct product research. You can see what other dropshippers on eBay are selling. You can search for products that you have on your suppliers pages on eBay and see who's selling it on eBay. That way you'll also know where they're getting their products from. You can also use tools to help you with that. And AutoDS can also help you with your dropshipping product research. For example, if you do not have time to conduct product research, if you don't have time to go to your suppliers pages, see what's selling there, and then check how much it's selling on your selling channel to see if there is even room to come in and profit. There is another way to get the product research actually done for you. Here, as you can see, we've got the AutoDS platform. I'm going to click on add products. Now, instead of adding my own products and you have tutorials on this on every video that you have linked below this video and every article, I'm going to click here on AutoDS Finder. And here the product research is going to be done for me. This is for people, once again, who do not have time for product research or for those who do have time, but want to add additional product research methods and see which ones work. So here I can actually tell the system to go and find the products for me. AutoDS scans thousands of dropshippers and suppliers to see what are the best selling products. And here I can select those products to be added to my store. For example, let's go with best sellers, products that sold eight times in the last month, and let's add 15 of those 
plus another 10 products with a high chance for coupon, which means it will have a discount coupon and I will make more profit selling that product. Then I'll check my supplier source. I want to add products, all of these best sellers, I want to add products that are coming from Amazon. My region is the United States and it'll tell me how much credits this will cost. If I don't have enough credits, I can simply buy more from here. Now I will add these 15 plus 10, these 25 products as drafts to my store. And that's how simple it was. I can even make this a recurring upload. And this way the system will continue the same process every day at the same time and date that I specified to make the same action, to add more and more best-selling products to my stores. And that's it, I don't really have to do anything else. Every day at a specific hour, I will get best-selling products added to my store automatically and people can go ahead and start buying them. So when it comes to product research, there is so much work to be done here, as I've mentioned, and each selling channel has its own product research methods. Things that will work on one selling channel will not likely work on the next. So it's all about testing and it's all about understanding what you are doing before you are doing it. In order to do that, you need to expand your knowledge base, how much you actually know about the selling channel, how much you know about this business model and how much you know or want to know about these products that you want to sell. So you need to conduct a lot of product research and it's all about testing, testing and testing. So enough about product research. There is more than enough information linked right below this video on any selling channel that you want to sell on. So we talked about the dropshipping business model. We talked about choosing the right selling channel and we talked about product research. The next thing that comes up, if you really want to learn how to make money dropshipping is having the long time survivability for your business. No one is here for the short term. No one is here to just make money for the for six months or for one year or for two years. We are all here to make as much money as we can for as long as we can. Now, in order for this business to run a really long time, we need to know how to take care of our customer service. This means that anytime a customer reaches out to us, whether on eBay, whether on Facebook messages, whether to your email on Shopify, what you want to do is notice these customer messages and take care of every person that reaches out to you. When a customer sees that someone is taking care of them, that the seller on the other side is actually acknowledging them and taking care of them, then they will return to purchase from your store again. I don't know if you guys have tried reaching out to sellers on AliExpress, for example, but half of those sellers are not even going to respond to you. And that gives you a really bad feeling, especially when you're buying a product. It doesn't, mean, doesn't matter if it costs $2 or $50. Not getting customer service when you reach out of your pocket and spend money, that is not a good feeling. So in this case, what you want to do when you have your dropshipping stores, when you have your e-commerce stores and your customers are reaching out to you, reply to them as soon as you can. Take care of any questions, any problems, any comments. And that will once again give you the long term survivability. Not only will they come back and return to buy from your store, but they will also tell their friends and their family when they ask them where they got that product from, they'll be more than happy to tell them that they got it from your store and they will go and purchase it from your store too. You'll get another email address if you're drop shipping on Shopify, another one to add to your subscriber list, another sell on eBay, another sell on Facebook, it doesn't matter. That is what we're here to do. And another way to make great money from drop shipping is knowing how to handle your customers and your customer service. Lastly, once we got down the selling channel, the product research, the customer service, all of that, all of that is nailed down. We got it down great and it's already starting to work. The last thing that we want to do is know how to fulfill our orders very, very quickly to our customers. I'm not going to talk about automation. I didn't talk about software that much in this video because you will only realize how much you need software and automation later on when it comes to price monitoring, stock monitoring, handling your customer service, importing products in just a couple of minutes. All of that is great and it will help your business scale to no limits. But what you do want to know about is order automation because this is something that really, really helps you out. It will really help you save a lot of time on your dropshipping journey. So when you start getting orders, after you learn about product research, you nail down the product research stage and people are finally starting to buy from your store. Now you need to actually fulfill those orders. So if you're working with several suppliers, you need to log into several supplier sites, create your buyer account, enter your payment information, ship to your customer's address, make sure that, it, that, that you shipped it out as a gift option so they won't see your price, and also update tracking information once you get it. And once you have five, 10, 15 orders per day, you'll find yourself spending way too much time doing only that, and not having enough time to actually expand your dropshipping business, create more selling channels, add more suppliers, and profit more. So order automation is one of the things that's going to make your life so much 
much better. And what this means is as soon as you get an order on your store, the system will simply fulfill it for you automatically. So it will send it to auto order. And once the system orders the product, it will turn to ordered with the order ID from the supplier. As soon as there's tracking information available, it will turn to shipped with the tracking number. And once it actually arrives to the customer's doorstep, it will change to delivered. So the statuses will get changed automatically, the order IDs and the tracking numbers will also get updated automatically, and each order status will update itself automatically. Now when you're first starting off, you want to learn the ropes, do everything by yourself and do it manually. But you want to scale, you want to learn how to make money dropshipping, nobody's doing it manually, no online seller, whether, whether he's buying real inventory or whether he's drop shipping, no one is doing it without business automation unless they only have a few listings on their stores. Otherwise, there is not enough time in the day to be able to scale to big numbers without drop shipping automation. This is actually where AutoDS comes in. As I've mentioned with price monitoring, stock monitoring, easy product importing, easy order fulfillment, which is completely automated, easy returns, easy way to handle customer service and so much more. That sums up this video explanation on how to make money dropshipping and I hope that it was clear for you. Starting with what is dropshipping in the first place, selecting the right selling channel, finding the right products to sell on that selling channel once you got your store up and running, handling your orders and handling customer service. All of that information and more depending on which selling channel you want to choose for yourself all of the links right below this video so guys the knowledge is out there for you all you need to do now is learn and implement so i wish you guys the best of luck let me know if there are any questions or comments i will personally answer them below and once again guys this is the kind of content that we deliver along with product research articles interviews with successful dropshippers and entrepreneurs live case studies and so much more so do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't done so yet like this video if you appreciate the value. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your dropshipping business and see you in the future videos.